All right, hey guys, Rudy here from Ridgeline again. So we're gonna get ready, we're gonna do part four. Got the guns, we're gonna head out to the range. I'll show you guys how we go through a whole testing procedure for every single LPR that leaves this place. See you out there. Uh, hey guys, Rudy here from Ridgeline. Uh, out here, uh, test day, um, uh, accuracy testing some of the uh, RD15 LPRs today. Uh, so I just wanna walk you guys through kind of our procedure for doing this. I know a lot of people have questions about kind of how we're doing it. And so I'm gonna show you here how the sausage is, is made. Uh, every single LPR, uh, it's required to shoot sub MOA before it leaves our factory. Um, so this is a little bit different than the uh, accuracy guarantee that a lot of companies are going to put out there. They're going to say, hey, our guns are sub MOA. If it doesn't shoot sub MOA, send it back. I'm sending you every single LPR with a proof target that says it is sub MOA. Uh, that's the ridgeline requirement. Um, so the setup that you kind of see here in front of you is what your LPR is going to be set up for testing. Um, for optic, we're, we're just running Leopold Mark V. Uh, this is a 7 to 35 uh, with a PR2 reticle. That's pretty much what all of uh, the testers are running out here to keep everything equal across the board. Um, bipods, there's two different versions. Uh, the Harris uh, 9 to 13 has always been one of my favorite setups, uh, set up on the arc rail here. We also have the MDT um, pod out here as well. Uh, so those are kind of the two that we typically use. Our, all of our accuracy testing is done from a prone. Um, so don't really, we're not shooting off a bench, we're not putting in a sled. It's real people shooting the guns the way that they're meant to be shot. Um, for the rear support, we're rocking, uh, pretty much everybody runs one of the, uh, I believe this is the Smedium Game Changer uh, with a heavy fill wax canvas. Um, this thing's freaking rock solid. Uh, magazines that we utilize for this is this 20 round P mag, it's pretty simple. Um, a ammo that we run for accuracy and precision tests is Federal Gold Metal Match 77 grain uh, serial matching. This is, we have found over years of testing, this has been the most consistent performer as far as accuracy goes. Uh, there's other stuff that's out there, but from lot to lot, this stuff is what runs the best. Basically, if the gun doesn't run this, it's probably not gonna run anything else. Um, so the way that we typically do this is we'll do three rounds for like a cider. So I'll have my three round magazine for cider. So this is basically one round into the dirt, one round on paper, uh, one round to adjust uh, into our landing zone. Uh, after that, we have uh, five rounds for record. Um, and we'll kind of walk you through one of the targets down there. Typically that's the most ideal. Um, every single barrel is gonna be a little bit different. Um, some barrels need to be seasoned a little bit more than others. Some will shoot pretty much right out of the gate. Some need a second test round uh, just to confirm. Also, we got some human error in here as well. Um, reality is, you know, shooting, you know, 24 of these a day uh, is kind of the upper limit. So every now and then, you know, as a shooter, you might throw one, it has to be reshot. Uh, but to date, every single LPR that's ever left the factory has been said by more or less. So uh, I'll kind of go ahead and get down here and kind of show you guys the process of uh, accuracy proofing an LPR. So we'll get into it here. Uh, so like I said, I'll start with my, my three rounds first. Uh, so first one, I'm basically sending it into the berm here just to get a rough idea. Um, as you swap back and forth, you know, scope between all different rifles, and typically it's gonna be plus or minus like a mil. So I usually shoot one in the dirt, get a rough adjustment, then I go one on paper, make another rough adjustment off that, and then send one into the landing zone. Uh, once it's kind of in that landing zone, then I, I go over to uh, my five, five rounds for record. Uh, so we'll get to it here. All right, so another big thing uh, with 100 yard testing, you know, anytime you're shooting, you know, you go through the fundamentals. I'm always gonna check my parallax, check my elevation, my winch, make sure I'm in the right, right zone. Um, you know, any guys ever been to class, you know, that's pretty much the standard. 
parallax elevation windage pew and then camp you know around 100 yards here so can't's not really too big of an issue but again always execute those fundamentals that's why they're the fundamentals all right so i come out a little bit on my magnification here i'm just going into that back berm here i want to see We'll see where that guy goes. All right, so we got one. It's kind of hot. I'm gonna come in on that windage. I feel that one is out there a ways. Let's see if we can go get this guy on paper now. I'll come back in on magnification. my natural point of aim. Okay. So, I think I'm gonna come down. No, I'll give it one more here. All right, so I got a pretty good idea where this guy is at now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make my adjustments to make it land roughly where I want it to. Looking down, 0.4. Call it like left, 1.6. Alright, it's like a nice rough zero on this. Now we'll go for uh, five rounds of record. All right, so there we go, five rounds for record, and uh, we're probably, eh, it's about a point seven, point seven five. so there we are. Right, basically, uh, three rounds for rough zero, five rounds for record, and we're on to the next rifle. All right, guys, so uh, here we are. I just shot uh, Alpha 11 here uh, with that rifle. So again, as you can see, this is first round up here, which is, again, pretty common, as I've discussed before a little bit. Sometimes the barrel's gonna get seasoned in. So first round's up here, which is pretty common, you know, round number four. Um, barrel's still kind of getting a little seasoned. And then your next one's here, and then three, four, and five, kind of tightening up. So all together, this is uh, right around like a 0.8. Um, so not bad. This gun will probably drop another 0.1, 0.2 um, once it gets broken in after that first 50 to 100 rounds. Um, but you know, with a 0.8, you know, straight out of the gate, it's a good shooting rifle. So uh, you know, that test uh, went went great. That's pretty much how it's supposed to go. All right, guys, so that wraps up part four, science behind the LPR. You know, just getting back to the range, showing you guys about our testing procedures for all these rifles before they leave. So concluding that, I wanna know what you guys wanna see more of. So go ahead, hit us up in the comment sections, let us know. Um, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll have more stuff for you guys. Until next time.